not a whore. Is I it? am not a whore. Yeah. Crazy, hey YouTube, it's your girl Brandy1525 and my sidekick. I'm a sidekick. I don't think so. Okay, move. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna hit y'all tonight with a what's in my makeup bag so y'all can see what the diva carries in her bag. Okay, this is my trusty makeup bag, and it is uh, a cute little makeup bag because it's got kisses. kisses and lipsticks and makeup brushes and compacts and all of that on it. Cute, cute, cute. And my little sister got it for me for Christmas. And I love it. So, anyway. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is just show you the stuff. Okay. This is my MAC Sheer Select Pressed Powder. And it is in an NC45. And as you can see, I have hit pan. So, it is almost time to replace that. Okay. Then, let's see. We got some BC LA Colors BC142 Blushing Pink. This is a blush. I'm not going to open it anyway. Blushing Pink. I think y'all can see the color real good. Okay. Then, I have some... Did you just that in the sink? Milani Powder Foundation. This is number six and it is caramel and it is too dark and I only like it for contouring. Then we got lots of random stuff. Pencils and all of that mm -hmm. jazz. Brushes. Whatever. Okay, and this is the no, I did not. This is, um, what was this? Cover Girl. This is the Florida Coffee Coffee Shop. Chick. <laughs> this is the Cover Girl Coffee Shop Quad. I love this. This is a everyday go-to right here. Simple, easy. Let's see. Flat top brush that I absolutely love. Got that from Elf Eyes Up Space. Can you stick that in? This is Mac. My Mac blush, my very very favorite Mac blush, and Love Thing. Yep, Love Thing, and I'm sure y'all can see the color. Love that one. Love. It. Let's see, lipsticks. This one is one I had on earlier today. Yeah, you can see the colors of this shit real good. Um, it is NYC number 316 and the color is Blossom. Yay. This is a uh, Wet n Wild lipstick and it is number 502A. And I don't have no idea what the color is, but it is um like a real a light frosty pink i, I got it on now let's see uh -huh. got it on now real cute okay let's see what else we got oh okay let's go here this is my no mac studio fix foundation and it is an nc44 and love that. And let's see. I'm going to take out my other one. This is my Mac, Mac Matchmaster Foundation. And this is 7.0. And I like this one too. This, the Matchmaster is um, uh, lighter. It's more... Damn, what word is that? Um, oh, it's medium coverage. That's what I'm trying to say. It's a medium coverage. So it's not as uh, full coverage as the um, Studio Fix Fluid. So I like that for 
summer if I was wearing foundation. I normally don't even wear foundation in the summertime. This is a light, bright, damn near white um, concealer stick, and, and it is by LA Colors. I know you can't see that, but anyway, it's like LA Colors. It's old, but I like it to highlight my eyebrows. Mm -mm, I want this one. I've never used it. You didn't? Nope, I haven't used it before. It's pretty, though. I'm going to show you all this because my daughter wanted me to show it. This is um, an e.l.f. cream eyeliner that I got. And it's um, pretty. a real pretty teal color. I ain't never used it yet. Oh, look at that. Look at about to jump up out there. Can, can you have it? You be cutting up. Anyhow. Hmm. Okay. And anything else important in here? Uh, let's see. A bunch of more lipsticks. This is just random shit. Like uh, LA Colors, Wet n Wild, NYC. Um, this one here is CoverGirl. I can't stand this one. It's ugly. It's uh, 300. It's called Flame. It's CoverGirl <laughs> something or other. The color is Flame. But I'm not too particular about it. I only like it if I mix it with something else. Because it is like... I don't know. But when I put this one on, I feel like my mouth looks like a cow's ass. I can't go. Uh, let's see. Right here we got... A MAC paint pot and Indian wood and I use it sometimes like uh, for eyeshadow base when I'm doing a neutral eye look and this is MAC Studio Sculpt Concealer and uh, I use this um, to highlight my eyebrows. If I'm really going somewhere where I really want to look flawless, I used to highlight my eyebrows. Um, it's an NC35. So, yeah, I mainly use it for my eyebrows. Like, I don't have, like, really, like, dark circles and stuff that I need to hide. So, um, yeah, whatever. Let's see. And, uh... Let's see. Now, this I really do love. This is really, really something that I use all the time. And it is, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'll tell you what it is. It is the Fast Response Eye Cream. And it's by MAC. And I like it because I have, like, dry <laughs> skin underneath my eyes. And the skin is really dry and easily irritated. So, I use that. And when I first got it, I was like, oh. <gasps> Took my breath away clutching my pearls because it cost so much. But this little tube doesn't last it forever, so it was worth it. And whoo, the love of my life. This is my L'Oreal Decrease, and I use this to make my eyeshadow stay put. It's really good if you got uh, super oily eyelids like I do. They probably greasy now. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, they probably greasy now. I don't know. I got like super oily eyelids all the time. And when I use the L'Oreal Decrease, the oil does not come through. And my eyeshadow is like concrete. It ain't going nowhere. Let's see. I have some Mary Kay lipsticks. Some Milani lipsticks. This is like another... Um, this is like a tan or a topaz color. I love that. Milani got nice lipsticks. This is Mary Kay. Huh, I just seem to love this color, huh? It's a pink shimmer, but to me, on my lips, being that my lips are darkly pigmented, it shows more like a pretty frosty tan color. So I like that. Let's see. Here you go, another one. This is um, a Wet n Wild. It's like a frosty chocolate color. I don't know if y'all can see it, but oh man. And ooh, my favorite eyeliner. My favorite. If I'm gonna use an eye pencil, it has to be all May. I use only all May eye pencils on my waterline because anything else 
and I would be crying all day long. My eyes would be watering so bad and they'd be so irritated. So on my water line, now above my lash line and underneath my lash line, I can use anything. But directly on my water line, I can only use Almay. So I think that's about it. Let me show y'all my little. Now I got this little dish right here. This is a little. I want to say what is this like ceramic or porcelain or whatever little dish that I got out of my daughter's uh, little dish set and I use this for my foundation because I do not like that whole uh, uh, pump your foundation and put it on the back of your hand so it can dry up before you can put it on your face mm -mm, I ain't on that mat costs too much I like to put it on this little round little dish here and then apply it from there uh, more brushes this is my very favorite blush brush and uh, let's see I got some eye pencils in here these is like uh, wet and wild eye pencils basically the same thing as the NYX jumbo crayon same thing and let's see some max Mac um, studio fix lash yeah that I use sometimes and uh, that's about it real nice sharpener for my pencils that I got from Sally's for a dollar and that's about it so that's what I'm carrying in my makeup bag I do not spend big money on eyeshadows blushes lipsticks pencils nothing like that the only thing that I really spend serious money on or money um, what I consider to be big money which would be like over you know 30 and 40 dollars is a uh, powder and foundation the closest thing to my skin anything else I don't feel like you have to uh, go and spend a lot of money on eyeshadows and stuff like that when it's a lot of companies like uh, B&H cosmetics my favorite um, that's got beautiful eyeshadows and stuff like that that you can get for like a steal when you can get a 120 um, color eye palette for $20 why I mean really when it's the same quality as a matter of fact I really don't even care for MAC eyeshadows so that's about it I appreciate your uh, watch your, taking the time to watch my video don't forget to rate comment and subscribe thanks for watching